Hey, what's going on guys? It is Saturday morning and I am headed not to the gym. Can you believe it? I actually do things that don't involve working out. It's a miracle, I know. So I'm not going to be able to make it to the gym today, but I'm going back to the city where I got my undergrad to meet up with some friends. And we're going to go to an event that really means a lot to me. I go every single year. It's a lot of fun. Really looking forward to this. So what I wanted to do was kind of make some videos on different things that motivate me. And I know we're all motivated by different things. Shut up, GPS. I'm trying to talk here. Anyway, very rudely interrupted. But so I want to make a video on things, like I said, that motivate me and I kind of want to get your guys' feedback on what motivates you to get to the gym and just live better overall. And this is going to be different for everyone I know. I'm going to try to get as much footage from this event that I can. It's very inspiring, at least to me, but like I said, everyone is going to be affected by different things. We've all been through different life events that have shaped the way we think. So I thought it would be pretty cool just to share this with you guys. I hope you guys like some of the footage and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Heartless and a fool, ignoring needy people who are lonely, sad, crying inside, trying not to be left behind. Chasing wants, wasting days, helping hands the only way. Empty hearts and hopeless stares. When will there be one who cares? jump straight into this guys and I was trying to be really careful with the music selection that I use on those clips because I don't want this to be like a Debbie Downer type thing at all. If you live in the United States you already know what that event was about. It's a breast cancer event. They hold it every single year. It's just a 5k walk and it's just so empowering every single year because thousands and thousands of people get together and we're all there for the exact same reason just to show our support try to raise money for a disease that affects so many people which leads me into what motivates me more than anything to lead the type of life that I do to exercise on a regular basis to put good nutrients in my body to honestly invest in my body more than I invest in anything else and obviously counting macros, powerlifting, that's not as much a healthy thing. You know, that's a hobby for me. But even if I wasn't into all that, I would still be dedicated to working out and eating right or eating, you know, a well-rounded diet because this is the way I look at it, guys. Every morning I wake up and I'm healthy and I can get out of bed on my own two feet and I can do anything that I want to do. Literally, there's no one stopping me from doing anything that's lawful at all. So I look at it as a privilege just to be able to get up and move around. And I know I take it for granted. Most of us do. But it still drives me every single day. And I really think that that's one of the reasons I'm so eager to wake up every single day. It's just because I've seen different things throughout my time where you're not always going to have the opportunity. Well, hopefully you do, but not everyone is. Just think about the week or the two weeks every single year that you might be sick or even just a little cold 
old and how miserable you are and then try to imagine living like that your whole life or for whatever life you have left because sadly enough that is often the demise of some people is just the disease and the sickness. I realize the exact same thing can happen to me at any time and a lot of it is out of my control. There's just nothing that I can do about it, but I am going to take these proactive measures to at least do my part because at the state that I'm in right now, it's up to me how I want to live. And in my opinion, this is how I'm going to get the best quality of life. So the ball is in your court. I mean, how do you want to live? I always stand by, I'm going to live strong, and I know that's kind of cliche at this point in the whole Lance Armstrong controversy, but it doesn't negate the meaning of that message. And that's one of the reasons I love these types of events, because you go there and everyone is just living strong. We're all there cheering each other on. Everyone's walking around with a smile. I see people that have been sick for years being pushed around in a wheelchair with the biggest smile on their face, and I just look at them, and you can't help but just get so much joy because it's like these people are fighting day in and day out what the hell do I have to feel sorry about myself for I woke up this morning and I got up and I felt fine and these people are sick every day of their life and they're still walking outside with an optimistic attitude and that inspires me so much guys I cannot even put it into words no one's gonna have the same reaction to life experiences and I'm not trying to tell you that you should be motivated by the same things I am because that's impossible it's never gonna happen I'm just being selfish guys this is a video about me what motivates me and when you see sick people I mean I really hope that you don't have to experience this much in your life and as much as I would feel bad for you to see the sick people my heart breaks for the people that are actually living sick but it has the potential to just change the way you view the world in its entirety. And I understand that I'm lucky and I've had a pretty easy road, all things considered, especially relative to a lot of people out in this world. But it's just a mentality that I try to bring to everything in life and it goes far outside of the gym. So it's just making the most out of what you've been given. It's never going to be perfect. It's never even going to be ideal. And there's going to be things that you can't control, but there are so many things that are in your control. And the way that you view things is definitely one of them in my opinion. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm sure it sounds like I'm rambling at this point and I'm probably just repeating myself. But as you can tell, it's something that I just feel really strongly about and I just think if people would realize what they have in front of them and not always dwell on what they don't have they would just be in a better position in life and they would be in a better position to help other people as well so please leave your feedback in the comments below I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this I know this is a lot more personal than I usually get in my videos but I thought it'd just be something good to share and I'll probably do some future videos on other things that motivate me but this is definitely one of the biggest things out there I know most of the time I come I'm off really laid back and like I'm unfazed by most things which is true and a lot of it is because of these types of events that makes it hard to focus on petty little things in life when there are these real struggles out there and it, I can't help but just feel grateful for what I do have so I'm gonna wrap it up now this is it guys I hope you liked it please like the video if you did and I'll talk to you guys very soon